In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how to acquire some of your best business builders around the holidays. Now, typically a lot of trainers and maybe some of your leaders are teaching you how to acquire product sales over the holidays. And yes, that is totally great. I even have an episode coming up in a few weeks that's going to show you how to do that. But I want you to have the leverage in your business and experience that leverage through business builders that you acquire. So that's what we're talking about in today's episode and using the holidays as a really great way to do that so that business does not slow down over the holidays, it speeds up. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 189. My name is Tanya Liza, and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. What are the two things that people say typically around the holidays? Number one, I don't have time. Number two, I wish I had some more money. These damn holidays can be so expensive. Now I want you to think about what you have your hands on. You literally have the solution to both of those problems right in your hand, right? Also, I want you to think about all of the people that specifically go out and get second, sometimes third jobs so that they can acquire that holiday cash. Because let's just face it, you've got all these moms and dads that wanna be super moms and super dads and they want that holiday cash or they wanna be the best boyfriends or the best husbands and be able to totally, totally splurge and spoil their significant other. And yes, it takes money, especially around the holidays, to sometimes do that. So I wanna share with you two ways that you can maximize this opportunity around the holidays and help a lot of people along the way. Now, before I share with you these two ways and I've got a bonus, I'm gonna be sharing some really cool scripts with you that you can use on your prospects with these two ways that I'm gonna share with you. But you know in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, if you tune in each week, I like to equip you with a free resource that goes with the episode that will help you in your business. So today, since we're talking about how to maximize the holidays when it comes to your prospecting and business building, I wanna give you one of my most popular resources ever, which is my top 20 prospecting questions that you should use when you meet a new prospect to get them interested in your product, service, or business. These are super amazing. They've helped me a ton in my career and I wanna give them to you absolutely free. To get your hands on them, all you have to do is head over to tanyaeliza.com forward slash 189 and there'll be a big yellow button on my blog post right underneath this video that you can click and request access for free to those prospecting questions that I've laid out for you. And if you're watching this video on my YouTube or my Facebook, we'll leave a link in the description box above or below this video that'll take you right to my blog post so you can get those 20 prospecting questions. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to start doing immediately, especially if you're watching this around the holidays and this video is gonna be coming out around the holidays, but it's gonna be on YouTube forever, right? So you wanna start posting on social media that you're so excited about not having to go out and get a second or third or fifth or even have fun with it, say 20 jobs to be able to give your friends and family all that they deserve around the holidays and be able to spoil them like crazy. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna start piquing some curiosity. Some of those people that are thinking, I need to get a second job or I need to get a third job or 20 jobs to be able to give my family and friends everything that they deserve. They are going to be curious to know what it is that you got your hands on. And so what I want you to do is post like twice a week or three times a week, something along those lines of being so grateful that you don't have to go out and get a second job to help make the holidays some of the best experiences for you and your family. So start peaking that curiosity on social media in that fashion. 
Number two, I want you to heighten your awareness. Now, what I mean by this is heighten your awareness in your local area. There is going to be things that you're gonna go out there and buy. You're gonna be doing your shopping for the holidays, your groceries, whatever the case might be. There's lots of people in the service industry that are hired just for the holidays or working just for the holidays. So I want you, I want you to heighten your awareness and start finding talent, okay? So if you come across somebody that helps you at a makeup counter or the jewelry counter or the grocery store, I want you to use some of these scripts and you can make them your own and have some fun, but I want you to start conversation with them. Heighten your awareness. Do you think that number one, they would be somebody you would enjoy working with? Maybe they've given you really great service and you really like their attitude and you were like, man, I really think that this person would be an incredible business partner and asset to what it is that we're doing. I want to talk with them and find out if they're open. So I'll share with you a couple of ways to start the conversation, but that's the second way. You want to heighten your awareness and start looking for talent in your local area. So do you want to know a couple of my million dollar scripts that you can use to start these conversations? Well, as a bonus, I'm going to give them to you right now. So let's say you're out and about, you get amazing surf service somewhere. And the first thing that you wanna do is compliment them on their amazing service. Something that you should probably be doing anyways, right? So just compliment them and then ask them if they're open. So here's how I would do it. If I met somebody, I would say, hey, I just wanna take a minute and thank you for your amazing service today. I really truly appreciate it. And hey, this might sound like a weird question because you probably don't get this every day, but the company that I work for is always looking for amazing talent and I think that you were just so good at what you did today. I was just wondering, do you at all keep your options open to other opportunities if something crossed your path and it looked exciting to you? Now, most often, if you compliment them and you're super nice, they're gonna say, yeah, I'm curious, tell me about it. And they might even ask, so like, what is it? Right, and they might get into details and questions and you don't wanna be put on the spot. You really wanna put people through your marketing process. So another script that I like to use or another line that I like to use is, hey, listen, like now isn't the time or place to get into those details, but I would love the opportunity to share some information with you and see if what it is that we're doing is a fit and you're a fit with what it is that we're doing. So this exchange information and I'll follow up with you this week. I'll send you a text or we can make a phone call happen and I'll share some details with you that I think you're gonna get pretty excited about. At least I know a lot of people that have. So that's just kind of how I would segue and then, you know, just set the appointment. Cause the goal when you meet talent isn't to like verbally vomit all over them. It's to find the talent and then book the appointment for your, your presentation, your business presentation. And then after you collect details and information, I just like to compliment again. I like to give people the warm and fuzzy as much as possible because then they'll be more inclined to answer your phone call or answer your text when you send that. So I'll say something like, you know, and thank you again. Like I really truly appreciated your service today. It was impeccable, thank you. And I'll make it sound genuine, of course, and you want it to be genuine altogether as well. If you got crappy service, are you going to say that you had great service just to prospect the person? No. And then you probably don't want to talk to that person or work with that person anyways. All right. And remember, I have got you covered. I've got my most popular 20 prospecting questions that you can use to qualify and get somebody interested in your product, service, or business. If you want to get these 20 questions that I have ready for you, they're ready on the blog. And you can go to tanyaliza.com forward slash 100 and 89 to pick those up. Question of the week. So I'm curious, what is your next 30 day goal look like? How many new business builders or teammates do you want to acquire right now? Now, whether you're watching this video during the holidays or not, this is still really good information. Hopefully you found it useful in a way to use it whatever time of the year. However, with the holidays, we can create a little spin, but what is your next 30 day goal? Drop me a comment below and let me know. So did you get some value from this episode? I truly hope that you did. And if you know of anybody else, your team, if you have a team group or whatever that could find this information useful, make sure to share it with them. Smash the like button, thumbs up, share it, get it out there. And I would be most grateful if you did. And thank you so much for joining me this week on Tanya Eliza TV.